Hello and welcome to Dating Delusions. I hope everyone's having another fantastic day. On today's episode, we'll look at modern women are expensive. Man, they expect us to always have old school values, old school chivalry, open the car door, pay for all the dates, yet they make just as much money or certainly very close to the amount of money we make and often they have, don't have true desire. Let's get into the nonsense. I should always pay for the first date. Okay, so it's pre-date and post-date expenses. I'm gonna start with pre-date. Always, always pay. She's gonna argue because they have to put on makeup. Ma'am, no one makes you buy makeup or expensive shoes. And I would argue, let's look at this list real quick, all this stuff on here. You don't have to use teeth whitener, ma'am. You don't have to use body lotion, all these things. I'm not saying don't brush your teeth, but you ladies who are so vain, care about all this stuff the expensive shoes most men don't care about that only you'd have to guess only extremely wealthy guy in the top 0001 percent who want to find an expensive lady because they you know they again vanderbilt rockefeller some sort of very wealthy dude is going to care about this but ma'am a lot of these things too men don't even like a lot of jewelry you guys wear not into that's for other women the way you get your hair done often if it's not long and straight it's usually not what men are really into the fake eyelashes just not men that's not for men it's for you ladies she continues guys post date a lot more taxing but the pre-date are pretty self-explanatory and they're probably unique to each person these are the things a woman goes through to feel the most confident that's ma'am that's your fault <laughs> You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. See, and this is the thing. Men just have to show up with what they look like. You know, men, if you don't have any sort of, some sort of skin routine, maybe a skin routine. But that's really about it. We don't wear makeup. We have to just show up the way we look. You ladies can wear heels if you are you know don't feel tall enough. You can wear high heels. You get the fake up, the fake eyelashes, the wigs, all those things, again, this is for you. Men don't care about this stuff. They just want to find a nice lady. Ask most men. They don't care. Yeah, you're going to have a few dudes for the streets who love that fake up and your BBLs. I just put up an important post where I said, men don't like BBLs. Men are just sexually attracted to naked women. You're getting these things for yourself and your own vanity and other ladies' approval. She continues. Put in on a date. I don't want to hear in the comments, like if this hits the wrong algorithm. We don't ask you to do those things. I don't give a fuck. You've been... <laughs> Let the hate flow through you. We know you don't. It's for you. Again, ladies, it's your own self-absorption and your infatuation with social media and getting other ladies to approve. If you're getting your hair done, ask a dude. Do you don't want to go to some lady at the hair salon. He, she's going to tell you to do some crazy shit. Back in the 80s, it was the perm. They would get the crazy perms, right? And men don't care. It's a bunch of this. Oh my God, who the hell cares? 10 years. Conditioned and to feel most comfortable, we're gonna do these things. It's making- Okay, good, ma'am, fine. We don't have to pay for it though. One million dollars. You pay for it. But that's what she's gonna try to argue because she has to do all this stuff to herself, then it's on us to pay for those dates. And it's incredibly expensive. Ladies, again, it's not like you go out one time with a guy and then you find a husband anymore. It's you, you're going out with tons of dudes doing this all over the place. I got a whole freezer full of popsicles. Mm. And yes, as always for chads, for the guys at the, at the top they're they don't mind spending money because they get action, but you d often don't bed dudes you see as this Beta! or that just weren't interesting enough or whatever it is. So those men feel left out and especially the, the you know, we're gonna get some average income discuss some data to an day it's really expensive for the majority of guys 10 years sure your nails are done you like the way your hair looks taking the time to shave it's the cost of an uber last time i did some taking the time to shave oh no poor modern women they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine you just can't get into it because they would never understand no one makes you do it ma'am yes if you want to find a man most men like a shaved lady sure but you, no one still makes you do that. I, I just can't believe this. This is like a dude saying, well, I had to go to work. Yeah, you had to go to work or you had to take a shower. Of course, there's things that take time for men too. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. Tenue. 
be a lot more empathetic about when it comes to dating. Because listen, I think we can all agree, whether you're a male or a female, that dating right now, at, at least in this generation, is probably the most like stressful, toxic, whatever word for negative uh, you want to say. Uh, Especially for men. I don't know that it's so tough for ladies. Ladies can throw a few pictures up there, especially younger ladies, and have tons, thousands of likes on their profile and then pick from a man. Men can't do that, ever. Later in life, sure, the guy gets made. He gets fit and attractive. He you know, does the things, because again, we don't, a lot of dudes don't care about style so much. That's why I try to talk. The Godfather talked about style a lot and tried to get you guys to learn about colognes and things. I don't get into that. I talk about fitness. I say, hey, do the best of what you got. Get to the gym, get fit. You'll feel better about yourself. And then certainly you can go to that lady. Hey, I, I'm fit. You need to be fit too. It's certainly a fair thing to say. But I think it's dating very easy for the majority of ladies. It's not easy for these ladies. Into the danger zone. Who are grossly overweight and then going, you should care about things other than my physical appearance when most men don't. Continue. Right now is probably the worst time. The reality is, is in the last 20 to 30 years, the average income for like the average man and woman has not dramatically changed with inflation, yet the rules for dating have also stayed the same. That's the problem. Ladies are not very traditional these days, majority of modern ladies, expecting chivalrous traditional men to show up and court them and buy everything on every date. And then them go discard that guy real quick. Oh, I got the ick. Didn't like that about him. Next guy. And then the next guy. And then they, they, but they want the man to sit there and still do all those same rules. And again, especially ladies, if you're not fit, you, you're, there's nothing traditional about you. You're, so if you're sitting there eating whatever you want, going, I want this man to court me, he's not going to. Those men just are, they're not the guys who are going to swipe and you just want this. I got a whole freezer full of popsicles. Mm. But I want you guys to picture, not only do you have to go on a date with a stranger where it can go terribly wrong. He's blown, overblown that a little bit. That's terribly wrong. Most dates just, if they don't continue, they just end with the, hey, it didn't work out. Come on, terribly wrong. That, I, I, I'd like to debunk that because we see the horror story, these, you know, these one-off stories. The majority of crime is done by someone you know. You're talking about especially physical crime. Didn't you? And imagine each time that costed $200, $300. Before I finally got like a really good job, I remember I never felt like I was capable of dating because in my brain, I was like, well, listen, if I- Yeah, we're broke dusties when you're younger. Man, I remember being in college. You know, I was 18, a total rookie, trying to date even girls my own age. You know, they, they wanted the seniors in college and they wanted dudes who could take them out play. I didn't have any money. Why? I mean, of course I didn't have any money. I was 18 years old, 19 years old. Why are you not gonna have any money to go take ladies on expensive dates, but that's the thing. The 18, 19 year old ladies are still getting whisked off to Paris. I've seen many guys fly around, even basic girls out to Dubai. They're probably a five out of 10. And I said, why would you fly this girl? I can have steak, filet mignon every day. Sometimes I just want a dirty burger. I want to get a quality girl. I'm going to have to go and take her on several dates. And then they, each date, you know, it's going to cost me $200, $300. Now, I couldn't keep up. Yeah, and I've told the story, lady I met, and I was, at that time I was making 45,000. You know, everyone paid for every single dinner, every single thing, and just didn't want to contribute to anything. And she was a vet. She was making more money than me. <laughs> Women. And uh, welcome, if anyone new to the channel. If you don't know why I pause this and, and talk a lot, is because of the YouTube copyright crap. So people will make a copyright strike even if you if you let a video play too long. So that's just the reason I do that. So sorry if that's... I mean, you can always fast forward through things, but this is why you watch so many videos getting chopped up or you just... You, hear, you don't hear as much commentary. That's just how the YouTube the copyright system works, that someone will copyright even though this should all be fair use when you're discussing something. If you don't discuss it enough, you get flagged for copyright. Daniel. Up with it. Like physically, I never felt like I could even attempt dating until I finally had a good job. While a girl, she can start dating pretty much whenever she feels like she's in the mood. That is correct. Exactly. Women, this is exactly our point on the channel. Women are born with everything they need to find a man. Okay, they can just literally exist at 18, 19, 20 years old, and they can find a husband right then. That doesn't work that same way for dudes at all. They have to get made. Men have to be made. Get something that ladies want. That's why the SMV peak for ladies is in the, your 20s, mid-20s or so. Men's at the end of their 30s, around 40 years old. 
because he's going to then have that style, that sophistication, the money that ladies are going to want for stability and all those purposes. So that, that, that this is the main issue. Ladies have it on easy street. They have an ice cream store full of flavors and don't like the ice cream store. We continue. Why dating isn't worth it to men? Only some of the reasons. We'll start with expensive. What, he spends all his money on the first date? For what, Casper the ghost? Rejection, fear of not only being good enough for you, but also will you be good enough? Will he have to reject you? Waste of time, goes through so much effort. There's a lady saying this. Of course, I'm sure the ladies watch this and go pick me. Now, of course, is it sometimes stressful for ladies? when they go on a date and the guy isn't who he said he's gonna, they're, they're course, I would say, gentlemen, don't use pictures from 20 years ago. Take recent pictures of yourself. If not, don't have the fitness you want, get the fitness level you want. But you can see all these things she's gonna mention. Logical and financial risks, of course. They want their own freedom. A lot of time ladies wanna take that away. And it's, it's saying, I, I know that ladies talk about jealousy. I'm not personally very jealous. I have dealt with so many jealous ladies in my life. Funny when I hear these stories of jealous men, because I don't know these guys. Treats friends, uh, has his friends treating better, of course. He gets the same thing in casual relationships, so there you go. I mean, especially if you're Chad, if you ladies are trying to lock down a Chad type guy, you say, who's Chad? Well, is he very charismatic, attractive guy, taller, has money, has game? That's Chad. Catfishing fake profile. I mean, that's happened to me so many times, I can tell you on the apps where a lady has, you show up and she's 20 or 30 pounds heavier than she was supposed to be. The pictures were were older. So I mean, that's happened tons of times when I've watched, uh, when, I, when, I, when I'm dating. You get, and there's fatigue, obviously. You go on a few dates, you get rejected as, a, as an average dude these days. And it's disheartening. The ladies you want often don't want you back. And then you get older and then often the ladies that uh, want you, you don't want them back. <laughs> And it's expensive. The main point of today's episode is, of course, it's very expensive for the average dude. So you wanted this incredible equality. And then now that you have that equality, you're still going, you need to pay, take me out and court me and be chivalrous and all this other stuff. You better make it worth his while then. Don't go on dates with men you're not into. He's allowed to think, I'm paying for dinner. I'm going to get some of the, something out of it. I got a whole freezer full of popsicles. Mm. That doesn't mean you're required to do it. That's not what I'm saying. I am saying that don't even, these foodie dates have to stop. If you're not into a dude, you don't take his money and resources and time. Continue. Okay, here's why dating is so much harder for a woman than a man. Girl, it's not. Dating is much- I can't stand that other lady. And this lady is gonna speak facts to her. Love it. Much harder for men. And here are a few reasons why. One, women want men to initiate. Automatically, this makes it more difficult for men. You're telling me that you just get to sit back and select from men while men have to bravely spark a conversation out of midair? And somehow that's easier for him? Yeah. You men need to court us. You men need to come at us with your best. You need to have a suit on, look really nice, look hot, be interesting. Be extroverted, make plans, do this. And we're just gonna sit at the bar and think that these dudes are gonna show up and look, they write it into their profiles. They really act like they can just build a man from all the men they've been with before. And go, okay, now I want the Superman as I get older. Sorry girl, you don't make the match. You can't take Giga Chad, he's in a league of his own. He's too fast, too strong, too unknown. Modern girls try to play, but they can't keep pace. And it's so unrealistic. And then the guy has to have money as well, because of course these older ladies want stability. Ladies, the ladies who do watch again, if you're in the danger zone, you're just, you might get stability. You're not, he's not going to be gorgeous, gorgeous, stable men who have all that are going to date ladies who look like this lady here on screen. You're goddamn right. Not you. No. Number two. Female standards are sky high. Men don't require much to fall in love. If you take care of yourself and you're just pleasant to be around, they will crawl over broken glass. For There's this girl. She's smart and, and fun and pretty beautiful. Fit, feminine, friendly, and loyal. That's really about it for the majority of men. They don't care about resources. Now, again, for the gentlemen who do care about resources, then something else we need to give. Maybe she won't be so fit, but Majority of dudes don't care about any of that stuff. Just be nice, 
be sweet and a little vulnerability would be would be cool and if they think they're gonna get a deal they'll you'll get all those flowers and chivalrous event but i mean and if you're not a catch yourself you can't expect one either ain't no way ain't no fucking way ain't no way ain't no fucking way not what your friends said about you being a catch i mean truly a catch fit attractive what men actually desire continue for you but guys have to make a certain amount of money be a certain height have immense charisma you get the point and then she's saying it too <laughs> yeah i love you ma'am i'm a genius number three our culture hates men masculinity is vilified in our society and thus men are exactly half the country and, and many many western countries going all masculinity it's toxic masculinity there's no line in between what is aspirational masculinity what is the acceptable rate of masculine and then what is toxic and it i'd love someone to fully defend this for me what exactly toxic is and i promise you again we, when shit goes down those dudes in ukraine fighting the war right now you i promise you want them to be a toxic toxically masculine you want a toxic masculine man uh defending you when uh something goes down so that's another huge problem is that they want it's a strange combination of I want a simpy kind of Chad guy who's dominant leader but vulnerable when he needs to and has all this humility. These men just do not exist. It's it's building Robo Man. A double cheeseburger, onion rings, large strawberry shake, and for God's sakes, hurry! Make continue. So here's some data on income. Okay, ladies, just put it in perspective and gentlemen. You, I mean, you know what I'm talking about here. Income from Tinder users. At for di income distribution, Tinder users come up from a variety of different income brackets. The highest percentage falls in the sixty eighty thousand dollar household income bracket. It's not that's not bad money, but a two hundred dollar dinner. Get anything you want, baby girl. I liked that. I indulged in oysters and caviar. This wide range of income levels reflect the ask broad user base. Yeah, and it does. Tinder is the highest used app in the world. Less than twenty thousand, ten percent. Twenty to forty, twenty percent. Forty to sixty, twenty five. Sixty to eighty, thirty percent. And then more than. 80,000, 15%. There you go. These six figure dudes, tall six figure dudes who are good leaders. You older ladies, like if you just think that these men grow on trees and they're just everywhere, you got another thing coming. 17% of working men age 15 plus made six figures or more in 2021. Official data shows there were a total of 131,000, 30, 131 million working American men age 15 and above during the year. Out of these, 22 million made 100,000 or more. You're a winner. It's all right there. The ladies' expectation of luxury lifestyle and travel. Most people, reasonable people, can afford maybe a couple trips a year, ladies, and especially they get older. Now, older gentlemen, sure, they might have some more free time, but you're putting travel in there as some sort of hobby. It's not a hobby. It is a vacation. I love, when we see travel, I love vacationing and luxury lifestyle. It's all we see. 45% of Americans earning more than 100,000 live paycheck to paycheck. This is fascinating. A report published by the Lending uh, Club Corporation and Payments.com shows that 45% of those earning 100,000 or more are living on paycheck to paycheck in August 2022, representing a 7% increase from 38% September 2021. The bitch is crazy. <laughs> We have a generation of people who aren't budgeting their money correctly as well. Gentlemen, yeah, there's no way you're taking ladies on two or three hundred hour dates then if you're making this kind of money and you can't make it by. I feel like Magical's on this list uh, every week. Again, made another huge donation on last night's members episode. And once again, I've mentioned before, uh, if you like the old format of the show, we do it every single week and the members just join the membership. It's only five bucks a month. So please think about that. It would really help the channel. We continue. Today's profile. We've seen profiles like this on the channel many times. Uh, it's just highlighting another one where it's just all about resources. And you just have to question when the lady leads her whole profile looking for just money. Is she going to ever have any desire for you? Here we go. Place 28. About me. Fun loving adventurer. Come on, you old cunt. We're going on an adventure. And what have you adventured? How have you ventured everywhere? I'm cu curious at 28 years old. You gotta love this. With a passion for dance and savoring delicious meals. Greens, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkeys, rat, you name it. Taste the biscuit. Taste the goodness of the biscuit. 
Who doesn't like delicious meals? This isn't a hobby. Adventuring is not really a hobby. Adventures, I mean, are you talking about going on a nice hike to things that don't cost money? Are you talking about a dude whisking you off to Paris? Family is my heartbeat, and I thrive on creating unforgettable moments with them. Oh my God, who the hell cares? Who cares about your family, man? We don't even know you. What good for you? Then go out with your family. Have them buy you delicious meals and go on adventures. <laughs> Balancing work and play, I cherish every opportunity to explore the exciting facets of life. Seeking a partner to add flavor to life's dance. Who knew this guy? 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 What are you talking about? It's just nonsense. Gibberish. Man, we know what you're getting at here with your expensive dress up there and what you're looking for. You're looking for this kind of dude. Sam! Sam! To give you his money. She continues. Got another expensive dress on. She's fit. The ladies. Okay, another thing. When you go down this path, what we keep arguing as well, when once you start taking money for your thing down there, so once you go down that path, you see a man as a mark for the rest of your life. The quickest way to my heart is capture my heart through stimulating conversations, tantalize my taste buds with great food, and whisk me away on exciting adventures. <laughs> Everything has to be exciting. I'm gonna tell you right now, to everyone involved, relationships, are not always exciting. And if you really believe that, then ma'am, you're just gonna get you go. You have been pumped and dumped by hot chin chat so many times you have no clue how to pick the man now. And she's gonna get here soon. Her youth and beauty won't carry her forever. You you have it now, ma'am, but you're gonna you're wasting it letting all these rich dudes pump and dump you. Cause that's what's happening. You are, if you, cause th my point is this, 28 years old, she's fit and attractive. She could have a man right now. She could have settled down, started a family, had a man right now. She just wants to leech onto the next sucker and have him take her out places. She continues. Now the super filtered picture, it says a, a non-negotiable, clean hygiene vibes only. Sure, you like someone who takes a shower. Got it, ma'am. Seeking ambition. Drama-free connections. So, ma'am, do you think this lady's drama-free? <laughs> yeah, I bet. Oh, self-care enthusiasts. Zero tolerance or disrespect and lies. Let's keep it real. Man, we know what you want. <laughs> Ladies, it's just so simple for you. A couple nice things, a couple nice pictures. Rich, older Chad guys, or just rich, older guys who just want to... Take this lady out, I get it. We see, I see those videos on TikTok all the time, but there's gonna be no desire. She's not gonna want you. It's just, she's basically just lay of the night, in my opinion, with this, how this profile reads. Ma'am, I have a certain person to help with sending you on your way. Thanks for watching our episode of Day New Illusions. I really do appreciate all our subscribers and supporters and of course our members. Thank you so much for joining the channel. If you'd like to contact, give it a like. If you're not subscribed yet, go and subscribe now. It's free to do. It really helps me out and I will see you on the next episode. Have a great day. Peace.